right? <laughs> but more importantly than that, you gotta be honest about what you believe in. Mm. Even if you don't say nothing. I sit around white supremacists all day. Mm. We got Black Lives Matter t-shirts on. Mm. Because they watch what they say. But if you just look, you just wait a little bit, you let them, you let it play out, you let the that new car smell wear off. Start to smell French fries in the back seat. Like, <laughs> it's real, right? I think he fucked up. He know he fucked up. But I also know Ye do not care. <laughs> right? Do not care. He's still worth $500 million. Somebody is going to take that money. <laughs> JP Morgan don't want it. You know how much dope money JP Morgan got on the books? Right, right. Don't matter. Somebody will take it and invest it. He's going to make another billion dollars. I can't, I, I can't guess this. I'm just saying. I know. I know how this world works. I've seen it in so many different facets, right? And I've seen comebacks. And I've seen people who deserve to stay get taken out, right? Because they didn't have the fight in them. Kanye influenced a lot of people. He did a lot of good for a lot of people. Can't take that away from him. We got half the fucking world rapping, walking, and talking like this man for 20 years. Right? You can't take that away from him. Right? Does he deserve it? I was, I was, I got issues, I got so many issues with Ye. <laughs> Prior to all this goofy shit. Prior to so, the Harriet Tubman slides and all that music, we were in a stadium on the Glow in the Dark tour. Me, NERD, Rihanna, Chris Brown, Kanye West, and a myriad of other folks, a cavalcade of characters. <laughs> Kanye got up on stage every night and said, White people, this is your night. I'm allowing you to say nigga. <laughs> so when the chorus come around, you can say it. <laughs> every night. Madison Square Garden, every night, every stadium around this fucking country, every night, my man went up there and told him that I was hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> At the same time, too, NAACP was like, we need to bury the word nigga. Yeah, yeah, I remember that. And I was like, that's the stupidest shit I ever heard. <laughs> that's the hypocrite in me. Right? Because there's one group trying to stop it. I'm on stage with dude trying to stop it. I'm mad at both of them. Like, who am I? I'm not a judge. Right? But the crazy part, they were already fucking saying it. Yeah. He's a, he's a character that brings out the, en the enigma of the human condition. And that's his power. He forces you to see your contradictions and your hypocrisies. Right? And put and unapologetically puts it in your face and on your feet. And remember those ten and a half you got on that <laughs> But just the quantums. I only want the quantums. I don't want any of that other stuff. I don't want the boots or none of that. He's a complicated brother who's been through a lot. I've seen people tell him that he won shit to his face. Stick to making beats. You can't rap. I've seen people cut that man down. Right? When he lost his mom, this shit was crazy. I've seen him do that. 
I've seen him do wild, crazy shit. I've seen him do amazing, beautiful shit to just would make you cry. The way he bore his soul and allowed people to tell his stories and became a vehicle for pain and challenging the system. George Bush don't care about black people. Nobody else didn't say shit. I was like, nigga, you, what you talking about, man? It's white people down there too. But that wasn't the point because I wasn't on the level that he was on. He's like, the focus needs to be on this because if you focus on them, that's going to get the reaction that you need. Because then honestly, white people don't give a fuck about white people. Mm-hmm. Right? You, you may think that. You know, white people will fire another white person in a fucking heartbeat. <laughs> Leave them on the side of the road to die in a heartbeat. Yeah. Right? That camaraderie that you may think is there, they snitch on each other too. Mm-hmm. Rape, kill, shoot, pillage, rob. Ukraine and Russia is all white people. Mm-hmm. They talking about nuclear bombing each other. Yeah. Y'all the same people. Right? So he knows, like, they ain't gonna respond to that. But they gonna respond when I put this blackness in their face. We gonna get these trucks of water down here. We gonna get some helicopters down here. We gonna make people. We gonna speak truth to power. We allowed that, but at what cost? Right? Kanye don't affect us. Kanye has no effect on anybody in this room. We feed into a narrative that folks have a certain level of power and influence on us. Really? You can't even fight off. The urge to eat donuts at 11 o'clock. <laughs> well, you got, what you doing over there? You, got your <laughs> you need to be worried about that juice in your refrigerator. You need to be worried about that gas that's in your car that's burning this planet the fuck down. Right? There's bigger fish to fry. And if we don't get to cooking them shits, they are going to start cooking us. <laughs> <laughs>